Hello everyone, I'm back. This is Joanne and we are studying about reading part for topic test. Today is the fourth class and today we're going to study about type 3. Type 3 question is looks like that and you can read some article and find out something wrong about this article and select incorrect sentence. It's up there. Okay? All right, number one, let's begin. I'm going to read for you the question. 다음을 읽고 맞지 않는 것을 고르십시오. So look at this article. We need to find out what kind of article is this and then what, why this article, what the article say and then, and then, and the details. Okay, so look at here. 1년 사용한 냉장고를 팔아요. 가격 20만 원. 연락처 gisa golbengi gisa.co.kr. Okay. Good. So here the keyword is about 팔아요. 팔아요 mean sell. Okay? So this article say about you no know, Selling something. So what kind of things sell? Look at here. 냉장고. 냉장고를 팔아요. Selling the 냉장고. 냉장고 is, do you know what is 냉장고 is? We can put some food in here and make it fresh and keep, keep making fresh too. Alright, so 냉장고 is refrigerator, right? So this article is about for selling refrigerator, right? Good. Look at here, let's find what kind of information more. So first, 가격, 가격, 20만 원. It looks like the number, right? Of course, if you want to make the notice about you know, selling some stuff, you can put some price, right? 가격 is the price. Price is 20만 원. 20만 원 is 200,000 won. Right? In Korea, we can use the one for the money price. Then next, look at here, 연락처, 연락처. And then you can see this. What do you think? What is this? This is email address, right? So this is about contact, right? Contact. All right, good. So we get, we get some information about uh, this article, then let's find out which is incorrect. Which incorrect, incorrect is number one. 이 냉장고는 이십만 원입니다. 이십만 원. So 이십만 원 is the price. So look at the price. 이십만 원, two hundred thousand won. So 일십백천만. Oh, so 20, two, two, 200, right? 20만 원. It's correct. Good. Number two, 이 냉장고를 1년 동안 썼습니다. The keyword we need to find 1년 동안 means one year, right? One year. So the owner used this refrigerator for one year. Can you, can we find this? information at the article. So look at here. 1년 사용한. 1년 사용한. 사용하다. And 쓰다. Mean saying, right? Of course, 쓰다 has different meaning, right? But when you use "suda" with some stuff, we mean we can. It mean we use. Okay, 사용하다 쓰다. So, 일년 사용한 is finish over. So mean one year use. Okay, one year use. So 일년 동안 썼습니다. It's correct. And the number three, 이 사람은 냉장고를 받 받고 싶습니다. 받고 싶습니다. 
싶습니다 means want, right? What, what, so what does this guy want to do? 받고, 받고 means get, get. So is, does this man want to get the refrigerator? B, no, right? He wanted to sell, right? He wanted to sell. He wanted to, he wanted to sell, right? So this is incorrect. Number four, 냉장고를 사고 싶으면 이메일로 연락합니다. 연락합니다. We need to find out how to contact with him. Contact with him. So you can see the 연락처. So there's only email address, right? Not the phone number, not the address. So if you want to buy the refrigerator, you should contact him, send the email, right? Good. So the, the right answer, which is, which is not correct, which not correct is number three, right? Good. Number two. Look at this. Okay. 철수 씨, 제 언니가 왔어요. 그래서 지금 회사 앞 커피숍에 있어요. 한 시에 회사에 가겠습니다. 수연 드림. So what do you think? What kind of article is this? It looks like text message, right? Texting message, right? And on at the phone. So look at here, you know, this mark in Korea is a smile, okay? It's a smile and just in a for tip. And then look at it, 철수 씨, 제 언니가 왔어요. So this is from Suyeon, right? This is from Suyeon and to 철수 and then Suyeon sister comes, right? To your sister comes. So, 그래서 지금 회사 앞 커피숍에 있어요. So, where is Suyeon now? She is at the coffee shop, right? Coffee house, cafe, in front of the office, right? And then 한 시에 회사에 가겠습니다. I will be back at 1 o'clock, right? 1 o'clock. Good. So let's find out incorrect. Number one, 수연 씨의 언니가 왔습니다. It's correct, right? Number two, 커피숍은 회사 안에 있습니다. Is it correct? 회사 안 means in the, inside of the office or inside of the company. So be, she said 회사 앞. Up mean in front of or nearby the office, nearby company. So this is not correct. Number three, 수연 씨는 한 시에 회사에 갑니다. What did Suyeon say to Charles? 한 시에 회사에 가겠습니다. So it's true, right? Number four, 수연 씨는 철수 씨에게 메시지를 썼습니다. So this is from dream means when you say when you send a message to you know the older people or very polite way to say from okay so this is from Suyeon and Charles to Charles right so Suyeon 씨는 철수 씨에게 메시지를 썼습니다 it's true. So right answer is number two. Number three. 다음을 읽고 맞지 않는 것을 고르십시오. Look at this. So I'm going to read it for you for Happy 음악회. 음악회에 초대합니다. 기간 2015년 8월 1일에서 8월 31일까지. 일시. 매주 화요일 오후 8시. 장소 하늘 공원. So here we need to focus. We need to see the 음악회 초대. Alright. This is about, you know, this article is about some concert. 음악회 is concert. 
performance. Okay, show. So to the mean invite, right? Invite. It's kind of invitation. All right, invite. 음악회 초대합니다. Invite the invite invitation the for the concert. Okay, to people, to people. Okay. So when you put invitation card or invitation notice, you can put some you know date and time and location, right? And sometimes some more information too. But look at here. First, 기간 기간 means the period. It's like a, how long how long does this concert show on, right? And then 일시 means the date, right? And then 장소 means the location, place, right? Good. So look at here. Number one, 하늘공원에서 음악회를 합니다. 띵띵에서 Normally we can use this 에서 with some place, okay? It means place, at or in. So where does this concert show? And 하늘공원 It's correct, right? 하늘공원 공원 mean park. The Han is the name of the park. So park sky. Park sky. Okay, it's correct. Number two. 하, 화요일마다 음악회가 있습니다. 화요일. Uh, we have seven days a week. 화요일 is Tuesday, right? Tuesday. So the, this concert uh, uh, will on is this concert on Tuesday? So we need to find out the date. 매주 화요일. That's right. 매주 mean every week. Every week. Tuesday me Tuesday, right? Every week Tuesday we have the concert, right? So 화요일 마다 마다 mean it coming again and again and again. So so it means every Tuesday or on Tuesdays, all right? Okay, 수요일마다, 화요일마다, 일요일마다, you can say that. So it's true too, right? Number three, 이 음악회는 한달 동안 합니다. 한달 동안, me, 동안 is normally we can say how long or this period, right? So look at here, 기간, 2015년, 8월 1일에서 8월 31일까지. So all the one month, right? So it's true. Number four, 이 음악회는 7시에 시작합니다. This is about 시 means about the time, right? 7시, 7시 mean 7 o'clock, right? So let's see the time. We can check the 일시, 매주 화요일 오후 8시, 8시, 8시 mean 8 o'clock, right? It's not 7 o'clock. So this is incorrect. The, time, uh, the answer, number 4. Okay? Number 4, 맞지 않는 것을 고르십시오. Look at this. Mm. It looks like some note, but we need to find out she were right and then 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 so what do you think what kind of article is looks like calendar schedule right schedule especially this is about october right october 19th october 20th not october 21st something like that and then this is a list of the what am I go what my plans my plans of the October some week right maybe the third week or something okay so twentieth Monday world Monday right what Suyang Suyang means swimming so I'm going to swim 
going to swim on Monday. And 21st Tuesday, 민수 씨와 점심 약속. 점심 약속. Here, 약속 means appointment, right? Plan. 점심 means the meal, what we're what a meal we eat, you know, during the daytime, right? 점심 약속 with whom? 민수 민수 씨 with 민수, alright? So 22nd 수요일 show, uh, shopping shopping is oh, shopping is what the what I like, I like a lot, shopping, buy something, all the stuff, shopping, right? So I'm going to go shopping on Wednesday. And then Thursday, Suyang again, right? Swimming. And then Friday, 동생 생일. So what is 생일? 생일 is birthday. So whose birthday is it? My brother or sister, younger, little one, right? And then on Saturday, 미영 씨와 등산. Do you know what is 등산? Is going up, up, up to the mountain. Is hiking, right? Hiking. So I'm going to hike uh, on Saturday with whom? 미영 씨. Okay, with 미영. All right. Good. So we all the find read about the, this article. Actually, planner, and then we need to find out which incorrect is. Number one, 동생 생일은 10월 24일입니다. 동생 생일은 10월 24일입니다. Okay, let's find out my brother's birthday. Look at here. Where is my, when is my brother's birthday? Here we go. 동생 생일. And then what's the date? It's October. 24th, right? 10월 24일. Is it correct? Yes, it's correct. Number two, 수영은 일주일에 한번 갑니다. 수영 means swimming, right? So am I going to swim once a week? 한 번, 일주일에 한 번, 한 번, once, okay? 일주일에 한 번, once a week? Let's find out. I'm going to go swim Monday and Thursday, right? So not once a week, twice a week. So it's not correct. Number three, 화요일에 민수 씨와 점심을 먹습니다. On Tuesday, with Minsu eating lunch, right? Eating lunch. Let me see. Let's see the Tuesday schedule. 화요일. 민수 씨와 점심 약속. So mean I'm going to eat lunch with 민수. It's correct, right? Number four. 토요일에는 등산을 갑니다. Uh, 토요일 is the Saturday, right? On Saturday, okay, look at here. Saturday here, 미영 씨와 등산. So I'm going to hike on Saturday. It's correct. So incorrect is one is number two. Okay, good. Is it easy to find or it's kind of difficult? If you practice again and again and find out what kind of thing is important and then if you make those question, what kind of trick you want to use here? So you can Fine. It, it makes you easy to find the answer. Good. Let's move number five. 맞지 않은 것을 고르십시오. Okay. Look at this. It looks like text message, right? Text message. 마이크 씨 미안해요. 제가 도서관에 있어서 전화를 못 받았어요. 10분 후에 전화할게요. 민수. Okay. So who wrote this message? Means it's from Minsu, right? So who to whom does Minsu write this message? To Mike, right? To Mike. To Mike. 
And then here to keywords, some um, he said, 미안해요. 미안해요 means I'm sorry, right? So why? The, let me let's let us think. Let's think. You know why means to say 미안해요. I'm sorry. So here the reason. 전화를 못 받았어요. I didn't get your call, right? I didn't answer your call. Why? Why? 제가 도서관에 있어서. This is the reason. 도서관. What is 도서관? 도서관 is library. That's right, library. I am at the library, so you cannot answer the phone in the middle of library, right? So I couldn't answer, right? And then here the, he said, 10분 후. 10분 후에, after 10 minutes, right? 10분 후에, after 10 minutes, I'll call you. 전화할게요. I'll call you. Okay? Good. Let's find which incorrect is. Number one, 민수 씨는 서점에 있습니다. 민수 씨는 서점. What is 서점 is? 서점, you can buy the book. Alright? So 서점 is the bookstore, right? Bookstore and the library is different, right? So bookstore is you can read the book and also you should buy, you can buy the book. But library, you can read the book but you can borrow, right? You can borrow the book. So this is incorrect. Number two, 민수 씨는 마이클 씨에게 전화를 할 겁니다. 할 겁니다 mean I'm going to, right? I'm going to. It's about the plan, right? What you're going to do. So he said, 10분 후에 전화할게요. 땡땡 할게요 mean I'm going to. I'm about to call you. So it's correct. And then number three, Michael 씨는 민수 씨에게 전화를 했습니다. So Michael called 민수. Is it correct? Or let me see. He said 전화를 못 받았어요. Mean Michael called the 민수 but he didn't answer, right? So Michael called the 민수 is correct. Number four, 지금은 2시 25분입니다. This is about the time. So where can we find the time? Okay, over here, right? Oh, can you see clearly? All right, 2시 25분. Can you see the 2? 20 feet, 25, right? So it's correct, right? 2시 25분, 2.25. This is correct. So right answer is number one. Minsu is at the library, not the bookstore, right? Number six. 맞지 않은 것을 고르십시오. 행복 요리 교실. 아이와 엄마, 아빠가 함께 맛있는 음식을 만들어요. Look at this. This is about 요리 교실. It's cooking class. This is about cooking class, right? And then, um, 아이와 엄마, 아빠. 엄마, 아빠 is mom and dad, right? With kids, right? Kids with mom and dad. 일시, of course, this is about the date. 매주 토요일. 매주 토요일 means every Saturday, right? Every Saturday. What time is it? 열시. 10 o'clock, okay? Every Saturday, 10 o'clock, this cooking class start, okay? 장소 means the place, location. 행복 요리 학원. Okay, this is about the name of the cooking institute, right? 행복. And then this mark is about the phone, and this will be the phone number. 02-345-5678, right? Yuri is kind of subject of the cooking class. 불고기. So do you know what is 불고기 is? 불고기 is the um, fried meat with some marinade, uh, marinade meat. 
but you can on uh, the fries with some vegetable you can put on the rice and you can eat all together it's so yummy right <laughs> and then 참가비 B means normally about the fee okay so 참가비 me is about the fee of this class the fee of class I the kids 8,000원 어른 adult 만원 so I for the kids 어른 so who who is the 어른 in this class 엄마와 아빠 right mom and dad mom and dad can pay 10,000 won and the kids can pay of course the mom and dad pay for the kids 8,000 won okay and this mark is important mark okay important mark 커피와 주스를 드립니다 커피와 주스를 드립니다 coffee and juice 드립니다 mean give give okay so this class will give you coffee and juice it means you don't need to pay all right just for free okay let's find which is not correct number one 엄마는 만 천원을 냅니다 만 천원을 냅니다 oh it's kind okay it's wrong right mom is the adult so uh, she can pay 10,000 won not 만천원 만원 right And number two 부모와 아이가 불고기를 만듭니다 right but um, this is about the cooking class, and this time the the subject what the what people cook is 불고기. It's correct, right? Number three, 요리 교실은 매주 수요일마다 있습니다. Okay, look at here. 매주 수요일. 수요일 is the Wednesday. So is this uh the cooking class on every Wednesday? No, it's not correct. 매주 토요일. B. Oh, is there the two incorrect sentence? Number four, 커피와 주스를 줍니다. So, in mother, in the parent, and then the kids, they can get coffee and juice, right? And this cooking class, 커피 and juice 줍니다. So, 드립니다. 줍니다 means same, but the 드립니다, 드리다 is much more polite expression, okay? Expression. So there are two incorrect sentences, right? Number one and three. Number one and three, okay? Number seven, 맞지 않는 것을 고르십시오. 리본 박물관 안내 요일 수요일에서 일요일 시간 9시에서 6시 입장료 6,000원 5세 이하 어린이에게 작은 선물을 드립니다. So here's a keyword. 박물관 안내 This is about, you know, guide. Guide of oh about this museum what kind of museum is it ribbon it's a ribbon right ribbon do you know ribbon right ribbon 박물관 okay 요일 it means days 수요일에서 일요일 so means from wednesday to sunday Good. 시간 it's about the time 9 to 18 o'clock mean 6 in the afternoon, right? So 9 in the morning to 6 in the afternoon. 입장료, the entrance fee is 6,000원. 6,001. And I told you this mark is important mark. 5세 이하, under age 5, 
the keys. 작은 선물을 드립니다. The little gift we give will give little gift for the the kids under five, under age five year old. Okay, good. We can find which is not correct. Number one, 화요일에 문을 엽니다. 문을 열다, 문을 엽니다 mean is a real action. 문을 열다. And for this museum or shops or some official in a store, 문을 연다 means open. Okay, open. So is this a does this museum open on open on the Tuesday? Look at here. From 수요일 일요일. From 수요일 to 일요일. From Wednesday to Sunday. So this museum not does does not open on Monday and Tuesday. So 화요일 Tuesday. 화요일 is a Tuesday. So to on Tuesday this museum not open, right? It's not correct. Number two, 어린이가 갈수 있습니다. So we can find 어린이 means kids, right? Kid, kid can enter, can go, can go this museum. C. 5세 이하 어린이에게 작은 선물을 드립니다. This is option, right? This is option. If if the kids are under under age five, five year old, we can will give the gift. So it means. All ages of children can come, right? Can come. Okay, number three. It's correct. Number three. 오후 여섯 시에 끝납니다. What is the you know finish time? She we can look at the 시간, the time. 아홉 시에서 여섯 시까지. So the six in the afternoon, the museum will close. Will be closed, right? It's correct. 육천 원을 냅니다. How much is for the entrance? So here's the entrance fee, 6,000 won. 6,000 won is 6,000 won. 6,000 won, right? 6,000 means 6,000. So this is correct too. So right answer is number one, right? Okay, good. It's a little bit some I'm sorry again. There's some little mistake of this again. I'm sorry. I'm not the the kind of perfect to check. Sorry, but we stay almost finished. We finished what we studied today. Today that's all for today. All right. So it's good news, right? So we're going to study about you know. Type three question again next class next lesson. So you should you should come back. All right, you should come back to our class next time. All right. So thank you for listening and watching me and okay understanding my mistake about here. So have a great day and then see you next time. 다음 시간에 다시 만나요. 감사합니다.